Hey all, welcome on Trials and Code channel. Today I will show you one interview question for React. The task will be create small counter using React and React hooks. Counter it will just uh, increment uh, number from one to anything every second. So how can we do it? It's not very difficult task, it's pretty easy task, but the, the, what is the most important, uh, you have to know how to describe uh, why you use such effects, such hooks, and uh, how it works, how we can uh, improve it and uh, do not uh, allow some memory leaks or... Anyway, you have to describe everything what you write. So, to show this application, I create a small React application from the scratch, it's create React app, empty application, here you can see that nothing, nothing was changed. So let's start. First of all, we will open up JS and uh, just uh, clean it up a bit, remove everything what we do not need anymore here. And uh, here we are going to write our counter. So we expect here will be one and then this number will be increased. So it's compiling, so everything is okay. So, I'm going to show you how to create counter, but I'm going to do it not in app component, we will create another component. I will show you later why we, we're doing that, but let's create a new component. It will be counter JS, and uh, here, so what we need, we need import react, and uh, let's return just a component. Let's create it. And here will be just div, one for now it's okay so we export default it to this component and uh, here in our application now we can import import this component from counter and uh, this one we will replace with a counter. So let's check. We have the same result. Okay, now it works. So now we have to increase this value. When we, how can we increase it? Uh, we will use the set interval function and uh, it will run each second and will increase it. So when we need to run, start this so, first of all, let's save this uh, value to some state variable. And for this, we will use uh, use state hook. Use state. And uh, okay, let's create this counter va value. It's a const, uh, the, it's a counter. And function set counter, which will change this counter. So, we use state. Use state and default value will be zero. So we will start from zero. And uh, now we can use this counter. Counter variable. So let's check. We have still the same result. Now it's zero. It's what we expected. It's great. And now we, we need to run set counter function every second to increment this value. So how can we use it? Uh, first of all, we need to create a set interval function. When do we need to create it? We will create it when component uh, is already mounted. Previously, we could use a component did mount lifecycle hook, but now we are using React hooks, and for this we have use effect. Use effect. Use effect will run after the render is committed the screen, and by default, the effect will run after every completed render. So when comp component is mounted, it will be run. It's what we need. So we can try. So let's write it. It's use effect. It receives a function. Callback function. And uh, here we need to create an our interval. So it will be const. Set interval. And uh, it Except it's the function. And here we need to set counter counter plus one. We can so we will increment this value and uh, on every second we will have a new value. So don't forget the set 
interval we have the second parameter it's a time it's a minimum number of milliseconds when it should be run so it's 1000 it's okay it will be every second also what do we need to remember use effect has another parameter it's a default where default is empty array here will be here, here we can pass values uh, which it will check and it, and uh, this effect will be run just if these values will be changed so for example if we pass counter if we somewhere change counter then use effect will be run but right now we do not need it also what is important here use effect it has it return statement so use effect may return a cleanup function this function will be called when a component will be deleted or unmounted previously we could use a lifecycle hook component will unmount but now here we can just return a function we return a function and here was important we need clear interval clear interval and we pass interval as a parameter why do we need it because when this component will be removed we have to delete interval it will help us to prevent memory leaks because uh, we can delete component but interval will be in memory and if we create um, multiple such components we, we will create a lot of intervals and uh, everything it will be memory consuming operations and uh, always don't forget to clear your interval and so now we can check it and how it will work so now we can see that it was increased once but that's it so what we need to do the next so here counter we can pass counter value by default but uh, it's not the best practice set uh, counter this function it receives uh, callback function so and uh, as a parameter it will be this value of our state so it will be counter it's a current value and uh, our callback function it should return counter plus one so and now we will run it and now we see that this value is updated and uh, counter works fine i i can say that uh, it's almost done but uh, what i want to show you console I just wanted to show how works this uh, return statement and let's let's write something like so unmount and uh, when this component will be deleted we should see this console this message but how can we see it let's change uh, this functionality just a bit so here we will use the same use state i just want to create some button we will click this button and uh, this counter will be deleted or can be added again so so we created uh, our new state variable is visible button and uh, if this button is visible we show this counter if not we delete it so also let's add a button to change it so on click when we click we want call set visibility function and the pass parameter as not is visible button we will change it and uh, we will call it switch so very simple now we will see this button and when we click this button we deleted delete this counter if we switch again we see this button again but what is important it's this console so here you can see when we delete button we see unmount message so it means that 
when we deleted unmounted counter component was called function from return and uh, interval was cleaned. So that, that means that uh, we deleted uh, this interval and uh, prevent mem one of mem one of possible memory leaks. So it's called something called best practices. So do not forget to delete everything after you finish your work. And that's it from this interview question. So uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, next we will cover another interview questions for React. Thank you for watching.